Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another <coughs> moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. For the next few weeks, we're going to be studying soda geysers. You've seen them before. They look like this. We're going to be looking at the science of soda geysers and what it takes to make a really great soda geyser. But before we can do that, we first got to figure out how to make a soda geyser start. There are geyser tubes available on the market. At the Fiddlesticks gift shop in the Children's Museum of Houston, this one is about $6. But if you like to work with your hands, for about that same price, you can make one or more like four. Here's what you need to do. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. There isn't an off-the-shelf PVC fitting that allows you to attach directly to a two-liter bottle, so we have to make our own. To do that, we need to use one of these. This is a bottle cap from my lunch today. Just a simple screw top cap. Now, in order to use it though, we have to get rid of all this top part. So I cut a hole in the top of one here, previously using a Dremel style tool. Now the Dremel is a power tool, so you really should have an adult help you with this part. What that does now is I've had this great big opening, which is perfect to allow Mentos to drop right through. Next, I need to glue the cap onto a one inch slip to three quarter inch thread PVC adapter. I need to use an adapter because the cap is larger than three quarters of an inch, but the Mentos fit perfectly inside a three quarter inch PVC pipe. To glue it, I use a foaming glue like Gorilla Glue as it expands when it dries, holding the cap in place much tighter. It takes at least two hours to dry, but I like to let it set for a little bit longer. So while we're waiting for it to dry, cut off a eight inch to 10 inch length of three quarter inch PVC pipe. Now we need to make the trigger mechanism. I use a simple pull and drop mechanism using a nail. I had these one and a half inch wire nails at my house that work perfectly. You're gonna to need to drill a hole completely through the pipe about one inch from one end that allows the nail to slide easily. And this will allow us to actually hold the Mentos into the pipe and then when we're ready, we pull out the nail to let them drop. Insert the end of the pipe with the hole in it into a three quarter inch thread to three quarter inch slip PVC adapter. Why two adapters? I couldn't find a one inch slip to a three quarter inch slip PVC adapter. Once the glue hardens around your cap, screw the two adapters together. Then tie a string around your nail, insert your nail, and you're ready to go. To make it work, all you do is you screw the bottom into your two liter bottle, insert your nail, drop your Mentos into the top, stand back, important part, and then just pull the string. And that will drop all the Mentos into your two liter bottle. Now, if you plan to use it again immediately, make sure to rinse it out and dry it thoroughly. Mentos will dissolve when they come in contact with water and stick to the inside of your pipe and you won't get your Mentos to drop into the soda. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>